And that is it, buddy. I'm done. Subscribe. Keep rocking. I don't know what to say today. Uh, you know what? I saw this thing on Ozzy Osbourne, like his whole career. whole thing was about drugs, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath breaking up, and then Sharon scooping him up. Love at first sight. And the last five minutes, no, there's like three minutes of Randy Rhodes. And, you know, Ozzy was in a band, and they were all the same age. Yeah, or no, it was Ozzy was in a band, and Sharon got him a younger band. Bob Daisley, Lee Kerslake, and Randy Rose. Lee Kerslake and Bob Daisley and Ozzy were all 30 in 1980. Randy was the kid. And this documentary is bullcrap. It's on this Access TV they show nothing but crap. They make up these documentaries. They pull in information out of their butt. None of it's true. They said three crew members stole a plane and were trying to dive bomb the bus to wake up the rest of the guys and crashed. Really? Three crew members. Okay, so there's Randy. There was, can't remember her name, the hairdresser. And then the stupid-ass bus driver, uh... A dick, a dick, <laughs> that was suicidal. And he was trying to kill him and Randy and Ozzy and everybody, all the name people. He was going to take him and everybody else out at the same time. Instead, he didn't. He clipped the damn bus and, beep, and just got rid of the important person, Randy. Ozzy's still flapping around like some drug hazed idiot like he's always been his whole life but you know he's just he's mentally retarded it's Sharon who I can't stand and then when people like this you know they see Sharon on these stupid talk shows that's not the real woman the real woman is a bitch and the next day after the action she was calling people to fill his spot screw these documentaries they're all lies if you ever want to know the truth I don't care what it is. If it's a local band, I know the real story. Got it? There. There you go. That's one thing. Ask me any questions. I try to answer them. Someone said, do you have any you know, stories about, I can't remember, some band. I'm like, really? Why that band? You know, Wasp, a million stories. Rat, a few stories. Dokken, a couple of stories. I don't like George Lynch, so I always stayed clear and Doc and Don I you know, yeah. saw him a billion times though Ugh. and um, who else we lost everybody almost anybody Buster's my bands you know my first band stiletto which was just a you know five month disaster train wreck but it was fun and I got my name out there second band trick or treat with Mandy Lyon in it in 1987 his first band when he was 22 in 1987 we started I put it together in, in December of 86 and we played our first gig March 17th 1987 it was televised and there's two videos on YouTube and you can go to my YouTube thing you'll see uh, trick-or-treat and you'll see it under a, a different person TJ Marmalade I just made it up because I didn't want Mandy freaking out that I was putting the videos up I'm tired of Mandy. He's he's old news. He's a nothing. He's a nobody. He got his house in Vegas because he got money from his mom. He never made money from touring because he never toured. Ugh, such a liar. When I get my friggin' if I put up a Wikipedia page, it's going to be a battle. I know it because I'm going to have to out him. And then after that, you know, fatal attraction and then... Pfft, that went into the dirt, and then I was in another band with an actually, if we were together 10 years earlier, Terrace 49, we would have made it. Different name, maybe, but the band was really good. We were just 10 years late. And that was in 95, and that's when I, once I turned 30, I was out of the business. And I went into film, and I made a bunch of money, thank goodness, and then got out because I was in a car accident. So I was forced retirement, and now I am back to semi-retirement because I wanted to work. So I got it to where I can work 
part time, and uh, I like it. I don't like sitting around all day. All I do is work out. I play guitar a little bit, but it's mainly working out and studying, reading about things, history. Let's just say, and uh, you know, this is a very small part of my day. What you see is what I do. I cut out maybe two minutes, and then the rest goes on. I don't have an editor like all these big guys. These other guys that have millions of subscribers have an editor. I got a guy that could do it, but he's busy. He's raising his two kids, so I'm tempted to ask him, but then I, you know, if I got money coming in, then I could pay him. But I don't know if that's going to happen because I can't even get a thousand subscribers. I'm back up to 666. Thanks. Well, remember that when I'm sitting in church tomorrow. Jeez. <laughs>